Hi, my name is Ryan and in this video we'll be creating a 3D text effect in pure CSS. So this is the text effect we'll be trying to achieve. The 3D text effect has been created using the text shadow property. So let's go to our HTML file and start working on it. Here in my HTML file I have the span tag with the class of text and here this is my name wrapped inside the span tags. So this is all we need for the HTML part. Now let's go to our styles.css file. I've already added a few styles starting with the body where I've given it a background color of C4, C4, C4 which is a shade of grey. The next thing I've done is I've positioned the text at the center of the screen. And now let's move ahead. I'll set this text to uppercase by saying text transform uppercase. I'll set the font family to Verdana which happens to be one of my favorite font families. I'll increase the font size to 12 em. I'll set the font weight to 700 and I'll give it a color of F5, F5, F5. Now let's move to the most important part, the text shadow property, which is in fact going to give this text a 3D effect. So we'll be adding multiple layers of text shadow. So let's get started. I'll say text shadow and the first value is going to be the horizontal offset which I'm going to set to one pixel. The next is going to be the vertical offset which is again going to be one pixel and the blur which is going to be one pixel and the color I'm going to choose is 919191 which is a shade of grey again. I'll add another layer of text shadow this time again it's going to be one pixel of horizontal offset but the vertical offset I'll increase it to 2 pixel and the blur radius I'll keep it to 1 pixel and again the color is going to be 919191 so instead of writing this multiple times I'll just copy this values and I'll paste it a few more times however the only thing I'm going to change here is the vertical offset so in this case i'll increase it to three this becomes four this becomes five six seven eight so let's add a few more layers this becomes nine and this becomes ten so let's see what we have right now so here our uh, text shadow is in fact taking shape and we are quite close to getting the 3D effect but we are not done yet. There's one final thing we need to do. Let's go to our index.final file and here in the browser have a look at the bottom of the text. Let me zoom in the browser so that you can see it clearly. Now here at the bottom of the text you can see some gap between the background and the text which in fact gives this text a 3D effect. So let's see how we can achieve that. We'll go to our styles.css file. Let me reset the browser. Now, in order to achieve the final effect, I'll add in a few more text shadow layers. But this time I'm going to use the RGBA color values. So. Let me set the horizontal offset to 1 pixel. The vertical offset is going to be 18 pixel. The blur radius is going to be 6 pixel. And the RGBA value is going to be 16 for the red, 16 for green, 16 for blue, and the alpha channel is going to be 0 0.4. Now, let me copy this and paste it 3 more times. I'll indent this. Here I'm going to change the vertical offset to 
22 pixel in this case I'm going to increase the vertical offset to 25 and here I'm going to increase it to 30 similarly we'll also change the blur radius in this case I'll increase it to 10 here I'll make it 35 and finally this is going to be 60 and the last thing we need to do is we need to change the alpha channel to 0 0.2 for the second layer and 0 0.2 for the third layer and finally let's see what we have achieved we now have the 3d text effect we were trying to achieve so this is easier than we thought it would be and that is it that's all for this video i'll see you in the next one till then bye bye